Any kid knows that you can focus the sun's energy to create fire, but unless you have a gigantic parabolic mirror, you're probably working with a magnifying glass. And if you are, there's a couple of steps that you really need to know to incorporate into your process to go from focusing the sun's energy to actually toasting marshmallows. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Like I said in the opening, any kid knows that it's really easy to get a leaf smoldering and burning with a magnifying glass, but it's a little harder to actually get a real fire that's useful out of it. And that's what I want to talk about today, the easiest way that I feel to get a fire from a magnifying glass. And the one key to this whole thing is old embers from your last fire. I always keep some embers from my last fire. I hold them in a little metal tin. This is way overkill. You don't need this many. You really just need two. Uh, but after each fire, I'll just fill this thing up and put it in my camping box, uh, camping bag, and, and I always have embers for the next time. I like the idea of embers as opposed to char cloth because it's just really easy. Uh, every time you have a fire, you always have embers. You don't need like a metal tin. Well, I have a metal tin, but you don't need a metal tin or cloth or anything to make char cloth or anything. It's just really easy. Whenever you're having fire, you always have embers, and they're really easy to start burning. Now, River is using the kind of the classic magnifying glass right here. Um, and that's great, but those are kind of thick, big, heavy, well, not, not that heavy, but they're bulky, you know. What I use, and I keep it in my bug-out bag all the time, is, is this. I, just, I keep it in an envelope to keep from getting scuffed up. Just one of those Fresnel lenses that people use for reading books. And I use these because they're super thin and light, and they don't take up any space at all, really. And all you do is you just focus the heat on one of your embers. I'm going to explain it first because once I get going, you really have to blow on it or, or the, uh, the heat dissipates. Uh, you get a hot spot on one of the embers. You're blowing on it. To give it air. You take the other ember, put it right up next to it. Keep blowing across it. The heat jumps from one to the other. Once you've got the both of them lit, you're golden. Just keep some air on it and then throw some, you know, some fluff tinder or whatever on there to, to actually get it going into a flame. But if you've ever done a fire, you know, once you have two hot embers, you know, it's hard to go wrong after that. So I'll show you how quickly this can really happen. Here we go. Focusing the sun's heat right in there. I can already hear it kind of popping a little bit. Got a hot spot. Got to keep air going to it. Or it's going to go out, but there you go. You, you know, after that, you just throw the tinder on and you're good and golden. Now, River, you want to cook some marshmallows over these? We got some baby marshmallows. Let's see how it works. Probably not very well. Keep blowing on it. You want to put a marshmallow on the end of that stick? It's getting a little hot to hold. Put it down on the ground. Glad you asked, though. Wow, this thing's getting hot. Just baby marshmallows. Oh, it's getting hot. Ooh, caught on fire. Too hot. Now, is, is eating the char healthy because it cleans you out, or is it carcinogenic? I've heard both of those. It's delicious. You going to do your marshmallow? Oh, you're doing it that way. Nice. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.